I'm here with your market update for March 2023. First things first, interest rates. Rates started increasing last year, about a year ago at this point, end of Q1, early uh, Q2 of 2022. That's when we had that big increase. Um, at this point in time, this is pretty much priced in. This is not a huge discussion anymore with buyers. Most uh, are already informed and expecting to have an interest rate. Okay, most buyers today, depending on if you're FHA, VA, conventional, you'll be seeing probably 5.99 to investors at like 7.625% ballpark, but that's not news, okay, in regards to buyers. Most every buyer is anticipating that. Now, I am starting to get that discussion or this question from sellers, want to sell in spring or summer, who are saying, hey, is this negatively gonna affect my sales price and terms? Well, actually not, to be honest, although this may be a surprise for you, that interest rate change started a year ago, so it's not really a surprise to anybody. We still have an extraordinarily low level of inventory. So in Oakland County right now, we have 1.3 months worth of inventory. That means if we didn't get another house for sale, we'd run out in less than a month and a half. We'd have no more houses. In a balanced market, we would need between four and six months of inventory. So we have approximately 33% or less, less than 33%, of the need um, supply buyer demand, okay? So that low level of inventory, not a lot of houses available, is keeping the real estate market moving and competitive. Not like last year or 2021 mid pandemic where it's crazy bid wars on every single house and you have to waive the appraisal and the inspection and go 15 to 20% over ask to get the house, but you still will bump into some bid wars, especially if a house is priced appropriately and it's beautiful, okay? So don't be surprised. Probably not gonna have to go 15 to 20% over, but you may have to go 5%. You may not have to waive the appraisal, although that still does happen every once in a while. You're still probably definitely gonna have to give some appraisal coverage where you're agreeing to pay X amount over. But you know, things have improved. So uh, we, we do have somewhat more balance, right? Um, there is negotiation going on again, which is good and fun. For those sellers who are still concerned, my two most recent listings, I just listed a beautiful home in Connors Township two weekends ago that had multiple offers. It's gonna sell over ask. Um, <clears throat> the appraisal was waived, okay? So we got our sales price no matter what. Um, and so that's great. My previous listing before that, Northville, another beautiful home, that one sold through at approximately 96% of list price, okay? So sellers, this is not a time to be wildly concerned. That low level of inventory is really protecting you. Buyers, what you have protecting you is those interest rates did get rid of a lot of the tire kicker shop shoppers, like the people who didn't need to buy and sell, but were just because money was cheap, okay? So it's created a what I think is a great real estate market to participate in right now. Okay? Now, here's my one note, okay? Buyers, if you're shopping now and you are dedicated, you're on a timeline, you know you wanna shop, I would be attentive to that right now. I would be very actively looking because in Michigan, the real estate market is pretty cyclical and it's likely to continue getting busier the warmer it gets, right? Spring and summer are usually very busy times here in Metro Detroit in the real estate market because flowers start to bloom, grass gets green, People are prepping for school to get out and it's much easier for families, especially if you're shopping for a family size home, three, four bedrooms, something like that, in a great school district, it's probably gonna get busier May, June, July, August. So, you know, you might wanna get on it and get shopping very actively. That's my March update. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out either through comments on this video, emails, calls, texts, whatever you got, happy to help. Have a great day.